All right, looks like we are live, ladies and gentlemen. I'm doing a spontaneous live stream, more or less, playing in the Speed Chess Championship qualifier on chess.com. And as this is a pretty serious tournament, and I will play against lots of good players, I will not talk that much during the games like I usually do, because, well, I need to focus on the games. I cannot talk about it too much. Maybe here and there I'll say a word, but probably most of the time I'll be silent. So I hope that's fine with you guys. I thought I'll play this tournament anyway, and I might as well uh, stream it. Why not? I mean, why not? So let's all hope for a good tournament. Looking forward to play some good against some good players. Nakamura is playing. Maxime Machella Craft, I see in the list here. Daniel Narditsky, a lot of GMs, obviously. So it's going to be fun. I don't even know how many rounds we play. Oh, we play 10 rounds. Okay. 180 players starting in one minute. Let's go. Thanks everybody in the chat for wishing me good luck. Ah, it's just fun, you know, just playing some game. I'll play against the butcher. All right.
Yeah, I'm not too happy with my position. But okay, it's a blitz game. Whatever. Probably it's not too bad either. Hopefully this works out guys, oh my god. <laughs> oh, Queen of Jade, oh shoot. But I guess it was game over anyway. Alright. Where's the resign button? Ah. Okay, it felt like I was doing okay for quite a while and then uh, it all fell apart. Well, I guess with the king in the center, it was never too safe anyway. By the way, let me check my microphone if it's loud enough this time. always goes down to low so let me tweak it and the butcher is saying well remember beating GM Kovakiewicz in this line this is from the game Adams Topolov many years ago yeah I've also played a game in this line um, against Salgado Lopez it's maybe a little bit dangerous for black but quite double edge Okay, so here, yeah, maybe I need to do something else, like queen d5 maybe. Maybe queen d5 is better, keeping the queen more central. And um, yeah, that should I shouldn't be worse here, I think. I was afraid of bishop takes, now if queen takes, uh, maybe I can even do this. Maybe I can just take off the queen, bishop d3, go back to g7. Yeah, I probably should do something like that. Um, even though now bishop f3, I can just take. Uh, that's no problem. Yeah, I think this was a critical point because after queen g2, what I did in game. Um, somehow I deleted the game. Okay, so we can. Okay, you play queen e3, and now. 
Yeah, my king is just stuck in the center. So I play rook f8. Takes, 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 takes. And maybe I should just... No, queen d5. No, it's just losing. Takes, takes. Bishop takes b5 and a6 is dropping as well. So here I think it's very difficult because he's just going to play bishop d3. His king is safe and my king is rather not safe. So I took here. Knight d4, rook c5, queen f6. Um, yeah, queen e3 is just losing, but maybe, probably it's losing anyway. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, queen e3, rook f1, and here it's just threatening my bishop. Now, here it's game over. Nothing to be done. Bishop d6, same story. Queen h8 and checkmate. All right. <laughs> the butcher is giving me some props here, saying he's theoretically and um, theoretically well prepared. Well, it's not everything in chess, and certainly not in uh, blitz games. So let's see what games are still going on. Oh, that looks pretty good for white, I would say. He'll probably win this. Okay, e7. Game over. F6. That's all she wrote. Okay, this game is over. Uh, anybody else playing? Okay, this game is also not too interesting. This is more interesting. That's what I like to see. And this will probably go, go out for a while. Unless there's a perpetual right now. So I'm trying to figure it out that I can have to chat somewhere so I can see it. Um, black one! Ah, pretty cool. Alright you guys, so for everybody joining a little bit later, so I decided spontaneously to stream this event, the Speed Chess Championship Qualifier, because the top not just the top player, the, the winner of the tournament uh, qualifies for Speed Chess Championship on chess.com against all kinds of top players. So I decided to stream it, but I'm not going to say too much during the game, more so afterwards, because during the game I want to concentrate because I want to do well, I want to give my best here. So let's play against CM Mikhailo Dolinia from Ukraine. I'm getting black for a second time in a row. What the heck? All right, let's go for another Sicilian, shall we? No. Well, I'll play c5 anyway. Alright, mirroring. Bishop g7 pre-move. c6, so stop d4. Okay. That's what I like about this line. It's very straightforward to play for, uh, for black. Just, I think d4 is too early here. b6 first. Hmm. Whatever. I still like this. I mean, I don't know how this ever can be bad for black. Well, maybe bishop a3 could be a problem now. Yeah. Maybe this is why I shouldn't play like this. Because bishop a3, eh, we'll see how much of a problem it is actually. We shall see, because I also have this knight c3 idea, so knight d6 isn't too much of an issue. Because I have knight c3. Now I'm talking way more than I expected, but okay, for so far, so good. In general, this knight c3 is always unpleasant for, for white, because I will get a very strong pawn on, on c3 protect by my bishop. No, 
I'll do it. Whatever. The only pro is my bit knight on a5. It's a little bit out of the game. But, okay. We'll see. The question is if this pawn is strong or weak. But I think it's, it's strong enough. Strong enough. Bishop before rook c8. Okay. <laughs> My opponent will not take an a5, obviously, but just in case. Okay. Okay, d4 can, okay, this move, but now queen e6 looks pretty good. Hmm, but now g5. Hmm. Still feels like the way to go. Knight g5, queen d7. I see a nice line. Knight g5, queen d7, takes, 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 bishop takes, king takes, and I have queen d8 hitting both the rook on a5 and the knight on g5, which is important, so white cannot win a pawn. Okay. Ah, it's a smarter way to do it, because now white can take on b7 first, if he takes on a5, I have this line, I can take on g2 and play queen d8. But this this way it works. But I still have rook e5, for example, and rook b5. I'm not too worried. Ah, there was also bishop h6. I didn't look at this move. It, I should have maybe taken a little bit more time. I think bishop h6 could have been quite... Yeah, bishop h6 was probably very strong. Uh, just pinning the knight. Yeah. Played a little bit too fast. That's, a, that's the thing with blitz. You gotta be... You gotta have a good balance. When to play quick and when to take your time. But I'm still, I think, in a very good spot here. I'm still keeping my pawn. And I have another pass pawn on a7, so um, I think I'm doing pretty well. Okay. Um, so I can't go rook b2, even though I would like to play that. Maybe just rook b8. Preparing rook b2 next move. How are you gonna stop that? Mister? d4 rook b2. If it made in queen a4. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I missed queen a4. 
a little bit annoying. Okay, this. This is nonsense. I mean, how is White ever going to get rid of this pawn? Okay. I mean, this should be just completely winning. Um, queen b4. a4 a3 simple chess my friends simple chess I don't even know what to play, I'll just play it too. Okay, I won. So that was a pretty straightforward game. Here, okay, I can just queen, take on b2, I'm up a rook and a bishop. Uh, so that's not too difficult. Um, yeah, so in the opening, I should I should play b6 here because white cannot go b4 yet. He needs to spend another time protecting knight and then afterwards I can go d4. And now I delete the game again. Oh, I hate this. This is... What the heck? No, this is not doing anything. I tried control z to get it back. Come on. Not, don't delete the whole game. What is this? Okay. Well, I guess we gotta recall it from memory then. Uh, yeah, I like this whole line for for black. Like I said. Yeah, I think I'm in a pretty good spot here. Rook e1, that was interesting now what happened. Queen e6, okay, he took. But yeah, it just looks like this whole position is no good for white because he just cannot get rid of this pawn. And what I was mentioning earlier was that in this line I have this nice little double attack, queen e8 hitting. Oh, look, I can make arrows, that's nice. That is nice, I like that. Um, both pieces and winning. Actually, b6 is still possible, never mind. But this should be still fairly good. Um, so, he took. But now bishop h6 looks really strong because f4 runs into queen b6. And um, what else? Gotta move the knight or play b6, but no. Nah. b6 that also doesn't make you happy. Okay, and if white has to give up the exchange, nah, that's just winning. Yeah, so bishop h6 probably needs to be answered by b6 and looks pretty good. But I mean, what I did in the game was also fine, rook e5. Because if the knight e4, I can take. And if white takes, I just play queen c6 and the knight is pinned and uh, white will lose the knight. So that's the point. And I, when, as long as I keep this pawn, I'm just doing really well. So, um, Can't see the H file. Okay, what did I do wrong? Okay, hold on. Can't see the H file. What is what happened? I don't know what happened. Okay, we need to fix this. And we gotta fix it quick. I don't know how this came about. Shoot. That sucks. 
My whole setup is messed up. I put up all so nicely. Man. My whole nice setup is all ruined somehow. I really don't know what happened. Sorry about that, guys. And now we have the next game. Man, that sucks. Ah. Uh, okay, I gotta focus on the game. You can you can kind of see what's happening, right? So. Uh, Bear with it, I'll change it after this game's over. So we're playing against CM Roll DV. Alright. Let's play the Karakan. Uh, pre move Knight F3. Pre move Bishop E2. Should I pre move castle? That nah, would be too much. Maybe we should play c5. Yeah, now I want to go bishop e3. Knight c6. All I know is that this is not a good move. I think I can just take on c5. Castle, if she takes, I just take and play bishop b5. I mean, this is ridiculous. Now the king is in the center. Probably go c4 right away, just try to open it up. She can take on b2. I don't mind, I just have bishop d4. It's bothering me that my whole setup is messed up. I think that happened when I tried to. Um, Okay, I need to, need to move in the other direction. That happened when I um, can make it better. It happened when I tried to, to get my game back, I think. No. This is not helping what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, I just blundered a piece. Mm. I think my position is so good I can... <laughs> I can take it. But still, I should not have blundered this piece. Maybe my position is actually not that good that I can take it. <laughs> we'll find out. We shall find out. So distracted here with the with my uh, I think she should have gone queen d7 uh, and probably black is better but so distracted with my messed up um, board view anyways now I'm probably doing okay again most likely
Okay, rook c1. Main problem for her is this pin on the last rank. And the king, of course, on f6 is also not perfectly placed. But this allows knight b5. <clears throat> okay. Take Rook C eight looks pretty simple. Yeah. Why complicate things? Let's just win a piece. Actually maybe this is complicating things. After his e takes d5. Hmm. Okay. Anyways. This should be winning. Takes. Okay. Gotta get my rook out. Gotta get my rook out. I like h4. Get some space for my king and also have this queen d8 idea. Queen d8 looks pretty strong right now. And then rook c1 and I'm confident I will create a checkmate somewhere. Hopefully. Oh, especially after g6. Especially now. Because now I can give a checkmate here. Okay, now let's fix this fix <laughs> fix this board, my friends. This is hmm. This is not how I envisioned all of this, trust me. Alright. Plan B. Plan B. Yeah, this is not perfect, obviously. <laughs> Especially I don't like here that my name is so tiny now. But it's better than not seeing the H file, pretty much. So we gotta do with this now. Hmm. I just couldn't fix it right now. Whatever happened there, I, I'm still confused. Still very much confused what went wrong. Anyways, I'll get a glass of water and be right back. Okay, so this game was nothing to be proud of, I mean... What can I say? Uh, in the after the opening, I'm just completely winning, and then here I should probably not blunder my my bishop, but just play some other move. Um, knight c3 or a3 first. Both look pretty decent. Maybe even c6. Or maybe a3 and then c6. Maybe even something like this. Anyway, there are many options, obviously, as the king. With the king on e7, something has gone terribly wrong for black here. 
So of course I delete my game as always now. I really have to figure out how I can avoid this. Uh, but in the game, if she plays queen d7 here instead of queen d3, not that easy to prove that I have enough compensation for the piece, even though, okay, I should have very good practical chances still. Maybe queen b3, or maybe d6, and queen b3 now, some ideas here. Things of that nature and in the game after queen d3 queen b3 I think I'm doing quite well yeah maybe there's something better here than rook c8 because she can move the Knight anyway. Maybe rook c7. Not sure. Probably many ways to play. I mean rook c8 is not bad, but if she takes on d5 now. Black has two pawns after all. Not that clear to me. I'll probably h4 again and the black king is weak so I should have good chances. Okay. Why don't I stream on Twitch? Why would I stream on Twitch? It's my counter question for you. No NS to PXS. <laughs> Coffee and Adderall first place. Yeah, probably because I mean it's 10 p.m. and it's no, it's not 10 p.m. It's 20 to 11 p.m. right now. So pretty late here in Germany already. Usually around that time I go to bed. So um, yeah. So it would be nice to to have some kind of energy boost, but okay, whatever. It's just for fun. I mean. Of course, I would like to qualify. I like I would like to win this event, but I mean, uh, I'll just enjoy myself here, and we'll just see how it goes. Hmm. Does White have any winning plan here after all? Probably just he has to. Oh, f four. Okay, he does something. Okay. Yeah, but this h3 pawn is weak, that's a problem, yeah. Because the only plan would be to sacrifice the exchange on a5, but then the problem is that you lose this pawn and black's going to be too quick. Otherwise you could sacrifice on a5 and then push your a pawn forward. But like this, huh? he would need to play g5, he could play g5 and then do it, that's what he needs to do. But now he is actually significantly, uh, okay, now it's a draw. He could have planned g5, I, play, I think, and then sacrifice and uh, the exchange against. But even that might be a draw, actually. Even that might be a draw. Oh. Okay. Wow. Now he's actually winning. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That splits.
Yeah, black didn't need to put the bishop on g5. He could have just defended from c3 or something like that because in this way he, he got into Zugzwang. All right, next round, my friends. Let's keep on rolling. All right, rock seven chess. Let's go. C5, pre move. Nah, not quite. Against D4, it wouldn't be the greatest move. There we go. D6, pre move. Uh, should not have done this pre move. Okay, fair enough. Thank you, Rock. It's very nice of you. Um, how do I do this? Knight of six. Okay. I actually played against this not too long ago in the Bangkok uh, Chess Club Open Blitz Tournament Qualifier. So I've had this in a different way though. Slightly different way. It's like a worse version of the Moral Gambit. But okay, you can play anything in Blitz, really, so. And it could be uncomfortable. Go back to D3, my friend. Go to B3, really. He wants to annoy me with e5 or, or not. Uh, okay, queen, queen a5. And after rook a1, I'm not sure if I go queen b4, maybe I just go back to d8. Or go to c7. Yeah, maybe go to c7. Queen b8 could be possible though, but it seems a little bit risky. Now you can't play knight d4 because of his hanging bishop on g5. And the pawn is hanging on b3. That puts him in an uncomfortable spot. Hold on, what am I doing? Okay. <laughs> Not too familiar with the pre pre move settings here. Okay, what's this? Take. Can I just take or hmm. Hmm. maybe I'll take you first. Be on the safe side. Otherwise, I didn't like rook a1, potentially. Now, if he takes an e7, I have rook e8, pinning him. Look, I can even do arrows uh, while I'm playing. How cool is this? Okay. Let's trade queens. I'm two pawns up.
I don't know what to say about the position really, there's nothing to say, I'm just winning here, I have to bring the bacon home, that's all there is to do. Guess my opponent fell asleep? No. He plays, but I can win another pawn, which I'll do. And move back. Okay. Let's trade queens. No. Let's... Let's... Oh, let's play rooks here, whatever. Let's trade rooks. No. Let's trade bishop against knight. Yes. Do that. Let's trade rooks. Let's trade queens. No. Okay. Let's push. Hmm. Okay. What to do? Queen c8. Need to stop queen d8. Oh, knight g5. Mm. Oh, okay. Get everything under control. Check. Okay, I gotta make some quick moves. Quick moves. Oh, another pawn. I'm taking all of them. Okay. Okay. I managed to win. I know you guys didn't didn't believe in me anymore after it took so long but i managed okay so i made my kind of comeback three out of four now but okay i played against three weaker players so it's not that much of an accomplishment so let's keep on winning i would say what is the chat saying the chat is saying hi man i like your videos thank you on H. Why does he play with American flag? Good question. Because I made the account when I was in the US and I don't know. All right. Okay, there's not too much to say about this game, really. So let's watch some of the top dogs 
figure it out. And Mr. Nakamura tries a really difficult feat to win this endgame. And I can tell you that much he won't succeed, but I'm sure he'll try for 50 moves. Knight b1 or knight g8. Okay, this is boring. Let's watch something else. This is more interesting, but still boring. You guys can tell I, I like to zap. Okay, this is even less interesting. What else we got? This is also fairly boring. Ah, okay. Let's go get back to this game. Okay. This looks like it's a is it a draw or is black winning? Looks like a draw to me. Oh, king g6, bishop d2. Okay, interesting. But g5. Bishop d2 still, or what? No. But okay. Just king e5 and so on. Oh, okay. Black has the wrong corner anyway. Okay, this is nonsense. Come on, guys. <laughs> what the heck? All right. Next round. No, somebody's still playing. Ooh, what is this? This looks pretty good for white. My rating is low because, yeah, I never play on chess.com, really. Uh, that's the reason. Yes, I study at the Free University of Berlin. That's correct, Crocodile. <laughs> I'm the favorite German chess player and the only one you know. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, William asks if you don't know what to do in the Blitz game, should you just make a move or think about it better make a move i mean you really you need the time so make stall moves when you don't know what to do it's not a bad idea miguel nidorf is asking are you aware that you look like a vampire yes that's my look that's what i like to do suck out the blood of chess positions Pierre Christian is asking if I'm still studying psychology in Maryland. No, I'm not. I'm back in my homeland, Germany, studying in Berlin now with my masters. Wow, this game is really taking a long time. <laughs> Anyways. He cover won the game? Come on. He's a magician. He really is. Ah, uh, it seems White is making progress. I'll get some more water. Oh no, actually no, they're done. Hmm, okay. One on time. Great. Alright. Play against R. Ah, Fishbein. I don't know who that is, but he's a GM. So, gotta watch out here. And I think I gotta go into focus mode again.
Nah, A5 I didn't like. Because now I can't play queen d3 and uh, without bishop b5 coming, that's just annoying. Life's rough. Bishop b5, I didn't understand. Bishop c6 made more sense. This should be not too bad for me. E6 might be pretty unpleasant for him. Okay, not now, I guess. Ah, bishop g4, yeah. I saw it, but didn't really acknowledge it enough. Rook d2 of 97 and 95, that's quite important. What? Kidding me? Does he have rook g2? I guess he does. But I can play rook f1. Queen e4. This is not going according to plan. Could take with the king too.
And now you can take. Yeah. Well done. Well played. Oh, he, he missed it. I have no time. That's bad. That's really bad. No time, no position. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Okay, let's resign. Okay, that was unnecessary loss. I mean, this one position here, it's ridiculous. If I play knight d5, you can go like this. Ah, king g1. Stop my calculations too early. Okay, but even, no, but he can't take because of checkmate. Yeah, this winning. Ah. Just calculate one move further and that's it. Unless this move? No, you can just take. Well, I mean, it all looks pretty, pretty. Oh, hold on. This is actually winning for black, yeah? Okay, I guess it's good that I didn't do this. <laughs> but. I can go king g1 maybe again here, yeah? Yeah, just run away. Run forest. Run. Yeah, this winning. This seems to be winning. So knight d5 was winning apparently, because obviously I'm having this double attack. So, um, rook g2 is the only move, queen f3 is nonsense, bishop f3, king g1, yeah. That was the way to go. I thought I could insert rook f1, but I didn't really, didn't really spend too much time looking at queen e4. What I could have done here is knight g6 maybe, but now rook f1. But okay, now this this should be good for black now. Now knight d5 was the way to win it. Rook f1 was the way to not do it. Because now if I if I play this, I have a problem. Big problem. So. Um, yeah, played rook f2. Yeah, if I take off the queen, he can just take on e5. But okay, I'm in trouble here. My king is just too weak. I expect him to play rook d8, threaten rook d2. Well, I can still, I still want to go queen e3. Maybe that's not too bad to play rook e8. Maybe I shouldn't go knight c6. Maybe just h3. Then move my king back. Probably should do that, but instead of knight c6, because it just didn't help me. Yeah, I mean, probably have to go king f1 here. But okay, this looks also just lost, pretty much. 
he could have just taken with the queen but maybe he he want to keep the pressure play h6 Tia thought about knight e6 which looks cool but he can just move the queen maybe I should still do this actually because I can take on c7 the next move okay anyway we have the next game my friends from Germany lonesome gotta start another winning streak now What is this? I'll just play d4. Maybe I should play h3 <laughs> to stop bishop g4 at some point. Could be a little bit annoying the more I think about it. Yeah, and there it is, of course. Mm. Probably not better here, but okay, let's just play a game. What am I doing? <laughs> okay. I think I'm winning a pawn. Yeah. Looks like it. Rook e8, I can take on d6, play knight f7. And after queen e7, I'll just play. I, I can just take on d7 or whatever. My queen is protected. I want to get my knight into the game, not sure how to. Okay. 
I want to move here anyway, so I don't mind. Maybe knight c6. Or just knight f3 back, exchange the bishops, and all his squares are weak. This is not working. Okay. Yeah, so the opening wasn't too great. <laughs> Probably around here I need to play h3 to stop bishop g4. Um, you could play e4. It's very typical. Maybe that's better. Go bishop d4. Or you place or you place um e4 here, but then I get knight d4. But okay, maybe just play like this. I think this is what he should have done. Maybe I can play g4. I mean this double edge, but I have this idea I can play against the pawn. Um Yeah, different ideas, but a whole different game. But okay, after what he did, he just ignored my threat of taking playing bishop c5. So, here, what to do? It's just, it's pretty much lost. I mean, you lose like one of the most important pawns in the position. What can you do? Rook e8, like I said, take here, give check, take the queen. And uh, queen e7. Maybe I just take on d7 or I play rook e1, rook e8. Now take on d7. Yeah, probably should do this though. Or I could play a cool move. You want to see a cool move? Queen d3. If he takes, I can just take back. And if queen takes, bishop d4. All right, so this game wasn't too, too exciting. Let's watch the top games and let me check the chat. Oh, wow. I just accidentally closed <laughs> my browser. So, okay, that's bad. I have to get back into a tournament now. Fortunately, it didn't happen in the middle of the game. Okay, I think we're back. How's the screen looking? I think we got the old view back. Let me try this. Hold on. No, we don't. Still looking terrible. Okay. It feels like something has changed again with the view. I'm sorry, guys. This is just. It's just a nightmare here. Now you can see. Okay, I need to do this again, apparently. All right, let me do this again. There we go. Sorry for a little interruption there. And now I need to also open my own stream again. Uh, how do I even get there? View channel. Ah, there I am. Beautiful.
This is not looking how it's supposed to look like. What the heck? I don't know what's going on today. It's like this mystery to me and uh, all these uh, problems. Oh well. Sorry guys for this terrible <laughs> view experience right now. Uh, don't know what's happening really. But I think we got it all set up again. And now we can watch the top games. If anybody's still playing, yes. This should be winning for white. All right, let's see what the chat is saying about all that. Me messing up again and again. So there's still this discussion, Twitch versus YouTube. Well, what I like about YouTube is that I recorded here and obviously there I, I reached a lot more people because I have many more subscribers here than on Twitch and I don't have to record it after I um, I'm done with it it's already there all right I need to get some water before the next game begins Uh, four out of six, yeah. So I'm probably not going to win the event. But, um, whatever. Just enjoy, enjoy the last rounds. Oh, another rook against knight. Great, this will take a while. I like this, Natesh. I'm not drinking water, but the tears of my enemies. Yeah, but so far I only made four of my opponents cry, and twice I had to cry because I lost. So I gotta win this next one and uh, <laughs> gotta beat somebody stronger than me at least, or be the grandmaster. So, full focus now. I would also play on. Why not? You don't have anything to lose as black. Just play some moves. It's fun. Everybody's watching. You have a big audience. Because everybody's freaking waiting for you to finish. And you can just play up until 50 moves, I think. And then it will be a draw. But there are really not a lot of tricks, so I'm curious how Hikaru won it. But, um... And Hikaru is in the chat, he's saying, Lolo, this looks familiar, indeed. Oh, he gives up. Okay. Thank you. Next game. Bring it on. 
All right. Play against woman Fide Master Saraswati from India. C5? Yes, there we go. Okay, I won't pre move d6 this time. I've learned. Ah, I should have pre moved it. Something like this probably, b5, seems pretty typical, a5, just push the pawns forward, Let's see what happens. h4, am I concerned about this? Hmm, nah. Probably just gonna go C4 now, or yeah. That's what I thought. But now my queen is coming. It's coming in. It's coming. Not threatening anything, but you know, it's there. It's saying hi. Now I need to do something. <laughs> what to do? Okay, I'll take this one. I know you'll think this is crazy, but whatever. I don't care. But here I thought I can just play h6 and the knight has to retreat. And he does. He does retreat. Let's do the same thing as white, play h4, and then go knight g6. But my queen is a little bit far away, don't you guys think? Just a tiny bit far away. Let's get a little, clo a little bit closer to the action aim at some targets here. Threat knight takes h4. I like this feature that you can draw arrows during the game. It's fun. Okay, I can take a pawn. Let's take it. Still a little bit worried. I mean, there are a lot of white pieces around my king. So this is 
a little bit of a concern, but we'll deal with it somehow. Okay, let's get some more pieces towards my king so he doesn't feel so naked. She can take on h6, but I have my my recovery plan. I'll take on b2 and the queen suddenly comes back all the way, hopefully. d4 shouldn't be too much of a problem, I can just take, but ah, d4 could be a problem, maybe. What is this? Now I can come back. Exchange queens and I'm up a pawn, so let's do this. Yeah, d4 I think was the critical try to block out my queen. Maybe I'm just losing then actually. <laughs> yeah, probably just losing. <laughs> oh well, that splits. Okay, ah, I can play rook a8. Well, I can, but do I want to? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. Rook b8, push the pawn. H5. Come here. My knights look a little bit awkward, I admit, I admit that. Especially after f4. But now, I can play knight e5 at least. Oh, I can even go knight c6. Look at all these options that suddenly open up. Or, I can do this. I like that better. Exchange that stupid knight on on um, h4 and suddenly everything's everything falls into place. And I'm up a healthy pawn. That's how I like it. Okay, now conversion. Conversion time. Okay, let's exchange rooks. Let's get this out of the way. Because I'm pretty confident that the end game is winning without the rooks. So let's take them off. F4. Play knight d4. And now, go e5, yeah, why not, let's go e5, and bring the king, oh, hold on, I could play b3, no, Should be pretty good, my feelings telling me. Okay, shouldn't lose on time, that's the only thing. But apart from that, I can pretty much do whatever I want. I like that. check oh i found a way to win the pawn look at me yay took me a while but okay better late than never 
check. Okay. This is fun. Just move around my king. Uh, maybe I should play e4 at some point. Let's not mess this up. It would be unfortunate. I think it's pretty difficult to mess up now. Check. I won. <laughs> okay. Great endgame technique. I actually think it was not too bad. But okay, in the middle game, if she plays this one move <laughs> after queen takes b2, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have taken on h5. If she plays d4 here, blocking my queen and now threatening knight g5, mm, that would have been nasty. Yeah, I mean, probably have to play this, okay. I can, I might as well resign. D takes C5 and Knight H5 first. Okay, completely, completely over. And if I take, no, I'm not in time. And Queen H7 is deadly. All right, I was a little bit lucky there. Anyways, hope you guys are enjoying the show. Yeah. I was just reading the chat. Okay. Who else is playing? What is going on? Not many more games. Gabrielian. Oh, that's a fun position. Let's keep playing this forever. That's not a fun position. That is a fun position. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> okay. It's just winning for white. It just picks up the pawns. But the king is hiding. I'll try some some uh, stalemate. Not this way. Dude, just take the queen. It's not stalemate. Oh, okay. All right, next round. What do I have? 507? Okay. I'm still getting a weaker opponent? It's crazy. How many people are playing in here? Okay, so yeah, I gotta win this one too. And I'm playing against a lot of women here and I'm always getting c5, e4, c5 and somehow also always get black, <laughs> it feels like. So this is really a night of theme tournament here, isn't it? B5, G4, I wish I knew how this went, I think just bishop B7, bring the knight over here, Play ninety five. Hopefully, no sacrifice are coming my way. If knight takes b five, nah. I dare you. I dare you, woman international master, Makalexa. 
and she plays b3 i mean that's that's a move you usually don't want to play here in these positions because it really weakens the knight on c3 okay it feels like it's time for the typical break b4 how about that hopefully that works and now d5 i want to take on b4 which she won't allow me so she won't take on d5 but then how is she going to defend the knight whoa okay she takes on d5 i'm sorry i was wrong but she takes with the knight which is very interesting gotta give her props for that uh, maybe i shouldn't go here feels like my knight will be trapped after bishop g1 but now i can just take on d5 and i'm happy i'm kind of happy kind of yeah i would say i'm fairly happy fairly happy yeah yeah fairly happy now i think bishop g1 instead would have been better because now I can take on b4 and my intuition is telling me that should be pretty good. I know I lose the knight on g4, but on the other hand, you know what's great? I'll finish, finish my development. And also, um, I can play bishop c3 check. Okay, I mean, this has got to be winning now, completely winning. So, how am I playing this check? King a2 is forced, king b1, f, queen a3. And now if I just go queen b4, like a, like a very primitive uh, man, primitive man, queen b4, or queen c5, uh, queen b4 looks like... A rook c5 or a castle. Okay, if queen b4 is game over, I should probably play it. Queen e2 check, king f8. Yeah, okay. Let's just do it. I mean, I'm sure castling wins, but why not go for the kill if you can? Queen e2 check, I could also move my knight back. Maybe that's cooler because I'm also attacking the rook on h1 and I can still castle if I need to. I mean, not that I would need to, probably, because it's just mate, but, <laughs> but you know, you never know. No, I don't think there's any defense against queen a5 and queen a1 checkmate. I did not see this move, I have to admit. I did not see this move. It's hoping for bishop takes c6 when my rooks hang, but I can take with the rook. Oh, and then she has rook takes d5. That's, I, I, I have to give her props. I mean, this is, this is pretty cool. This is actually saving her for now. Unbelievable. Look at this. Crazy, right? But position is still completely lost because, well, look at this diagonal. Okay, bishop g2, I guess, must be the only move. But I can just move my rook somewhere. Okay, but the game at least continues still. So that's quite remarkable. Knight c6 was a nice shot. I've really not seen this. Okay, bishop d3. So 
So what happens if I just move my rope back? That should speed up a little bit, only 38 seconds. Talking too much. Well, I thought the game was just over and then he just she just plays knight c6. I was like, what? This is ridiculous. Okay, let's not get checkmated. That would be important. This is, I can just take. That's a queen and a rook. G6. Okay, I take. Okay, is she playing for stalemate or? Okay. So, f what do you have? Six out of. Six out of eight? I have six points. So if I win the next two games, I'm, I have pretty good chances, which is ridiculous after the tournament is going, because I mean, I've played against six weaker players, beat them all, played against two stronger players, and now I'm like, not doing too badly. I mean, I'm in, you can't see this right now, but I'm like in seventh place, it says. Uh, the leader has seven points. Probably won't win the tournament, but if I win the next two games, I'll be top places which would be ridiculous so okay gotta gotta focus now uh, so yeah that was an interesting game um Yeah, I think here this was the critical point. After he takes d5, I think I'm doing really well. So she should play this and this. But okay, even here e3 and the rook is just hanging. It's a full rook. So maybe this whole sacrifice isn't working for her. Or she should somehow do it differently. Maybe knight f5 here. Because here, yeah, you want to move your bishop. What else? Maybe knight f5 is another move that's possible. But. Okay. Yeah, at all, it doesn't feel like white has enough, especially with the weak white king, because I always get this bishop to c3, which is just really, really strong there, obviously. So I think it was a nice, nice idea of mine to play this b4 followed by d5. A very typical uh, kind of idea in the Sicilian, so you guys can remember that. Okay. Let's check out some games. This looks pretty winning for white. Yeah, black doesn't really have any counterplay. That's that's a problem. Yeah, game over. Game over right here for Tregubov against Kaizi. Whoever that is. That's a draw. Knight of four check. Knight c5 check. Yeah, okay. All right, round number nine. So now. Now, I can't believe it, I'm playing another weaker player. How's this? 
Okay. Gotta keep playing well and maybe I will somehow swindle my way to the front. What is a6? Okay, that's interesting. I've not seen this before. Usually it's pretty dangerous for black because the position on, opens up and um, huh, okay. Position opens up and black's still underdeveloped, but okay, black did pretty well here, it feels like. Seems like he pretty much solved his problems. Yeah, rook b8, I can't take on a6 because of bishop d3. That's, I missed that. He missed it too.
Probably should G go G5 now. But still, I'm up a pawn. I think now he's in a very uncomfortable pin. B3, next move, and he's lost. That's it. Game over, guys. We're moving to 7 out of 9. All right. It's ridiculous. I'm like in shared second place together with Hikaru Nakamura. <laughs> don't ask me how I got there. Don't, don't ask me how I got there. Okay, I'll use the bathroom real quick and then we'll have a very important last round game where it's gonna be about, well, a play for everything. Maybe even for the qualification would be completely ridiculous, but whatever. All right, so last round game, round number 10. Lion Beast is leading with eight out of nine. That's an issue. I don't think I can catch him. And the three players with eight, uh, with seven out of nine is Hikaru. So I'll probably play against Hikaru, I'm guessing. Uh, uh, I've played against him before actually on in these title Tuesdays in the last round as well. It's not great to get Hikaru as a last round opponent, but well, I'll take it, whatever. It's fun. I like to play against the best. I know we have more players on 7 out of 9. Akcha Chantra and Becca 95. But my feeling is I still get Hikaru. <laughs> Anyways, would be cool. That's true, Lion Beast and uh, Hikaru already qualified, so if I win this game uh, and Lion Beast wins against uh, Guzainov, Lion Beast wins against Guzainov, I would actually qualify, so, uh, or I would have a really good chance. So, yeah, I should better win this next game then, maybe. <laughs> Alright, anybody else still playing or what's going on? Oh, there's still a few games going on. Oh, it feels like it feels like something's at stake now. The whole time I was just playing some moves, and now suddenly I can uh, win some money, qualify maybe. Crazy. I actually have a lot of people on seven out of nine now, so maybe I won't play against Hikau, which would be good because I have a better chance against somebody else. I feel like. Okay, who's still playing? This is just winning for black. Robert Hess, he will also move to 7 out of 9. The more people on 7 out of 9, the better. What is he doing? Why isn't he not just taking the pawn on h3?
What is he? I don't understand. Why didn't he just take the pawn on h3? Don't make your life so hard, man. Rook f8? Why not rook f8? I don't understand anything. Now it is actually pretty difficult to win, if at all possible. Probably you should just go... He's repeating moves? Dude. Ah, okay. Now take on c7 and then just run. And this should be actually still winning. Or is it? King f4? King f4. Yeah. Okay, it is winning, yeah. Not g3. He did everything correct. Everything. I'll get some more water. This game will take a while. So who am I getting in the last round? There are actually one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people on um, seven out of nine, and two people on seven out of, seven and a half out of nine, and there's Lion Beast leading with eight out of nine. So I think everybody except for Mr. Nakamura would be a good good match. I mean, I can beat Nakamura, but uh, you know He would be pretty tough to beat Forget the Super Bowl. <laughs> I am nervous. I am nervous. No, I like the one coming. Forget the Super Bowl. I'll watch Nicholas beat Nakamura. I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, of course. Something is at stake. Now it's completely different. But, you know, I've been in a situation before and I beat in the last round, I beat Maxim Plugi and I actually came in third in one of these title Tuesdays. It's funny that the the guy who's down with the rook, he just offered a draw. <laughs> As if black would accept it. I mean, I just gotta play this till the end. But it's really funny that I get to 7 out of 9 <laughs> and only playing 2 GMs, or I only played 1 GM total, I played 1 GM, 1 AM, and the rest of the players of my opponents were weaker than I am. I don't know how that happened, but anyway. Yeah, I know that Lion Beast's MVL, I should have said it maybe like this, uh, yeah. Oh, I thought the, the 50 draw uh, rule is automatically and you don't have to offer draw. 
but okay, I don't really know. It feels like they should have made at least 50 moves by now. But somehow the game is just going on and on and on. Oh, there we go. Alright guys. This is what it all comes down to. The last round. And I play against Sergei Azarov. I've beaten him actually before in a tournament game. It was the King's Gambit. Should I repeat it? Mm. I could, but... No, he's afraid. He's afraid of the King's Gambit, understandably. Okay. I think that's pretty dangerous for, for black. B5 now. Okay, gotta go for the attack.
Fuck! Fuck! Okay, maybe I could have not... Ah, man! I guess I couldn't... Couldn't have done anything here anyway. But here... Here I should have taken... It's like Queen G5. Winning here, probably. Yeah, two pawns up. Ah, oh, actually, not winning. Bishop g5. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. So I need to move my rook. Need to play like rook f1. So close, god damn it. This is completely unclear. Actually, now I can take on h6. No, I shouldn't take on g5. I shouldn't take on h6 in the first place. I should play rook f1 right away. Here, I mean, anything can happen, really. Bishop b4, I can take on h6. Rook b8. It's not threatening anything, or is it? Maybe I can now do this. Maybe even do this. Maybe, I mean, it's completely unclear. Anything's possible here. Yeah, I completely missed this. Bishop a3 idea, obviously. <laughs> All right, <sighs> was really close, really close. But actually, I uh, I don't need to be too unhappy because Guzainov won against MVL and he's qualifying. So even if I had won, I would not have qualified for the speed chess championship. But I would have maybe gotten a little bit of money. Okay, that's uh, that's neglectable. Okay, interesting game though. Um, I mean, it felt like I, I knew this opening. And it's quite dangerous for Black because of this Queen H5 idea and so on. But Knight C5 I hadn't seen before. Oh, I know why. Oh no, actually. I thought bishop b3, but then you can take on b3. No, it seems like you should take on c5. Oh, can I go knight a4 here? So tournament has finished. I'm in 13th place, as you can see. Kuzainov wins and qualifies, then MVL, then Hikaru. Feels like I'm always trap almost trapping his queen, but not quite. <clears throat> I 
I don't know, but then Queen H5, he played B5, and I didn't see what to do. Because <clears throat> here, if I take, he plays Rook B8, and um, okay, I could take on C6, but that's not what I want to do, and I'm sure he has com if sufficient compensation. The problem is here that, I don't know, let's say I move my Queen, he can play this move, and uh, that's a problem. And if I take, I'm checkmated. So what I did in the game didn't feel right actually. B4, I mean, okay, G6. I mean, even here I could play H4. This idea H5 is very strong, but he can always just go rook E8. And um, what now? Okay. Play knight a4. Yeah, I completely missed his queen e4. I thought he has to go queen a5, and then he's kind of blocked for now. But queen d4 is very, very strong. I think here I'm just not doing well at all. Um, this just looks really good for him. It's actually funny how, how good I got out of this, after all. Okay, maybe here I should go h4 first, so you can't play rook fc8, because I think this just wins for me. h6, g6, next, game over. I'm guessing this wins. Who, who really knows? I'm guessing. Because of the b3... Bishop d7, now, as you guys could see, he could move the rook to c8, which is annoying. Here I thought he might just take on b3 and say, show me what you got. And I don't know what I would have shown him, because if I take, he takes back. what now I don't see it I don't see what now if I take 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 nothing happening here rook h7 for example rook takes c2 and um, if queen f6, just bishop g7, queen h4, just bishop g7, again. So I think he could have just done that. Just be ice cold, take him b3. Because I'm like bluffing. It looks like I have something, but I don't. Yeah, no, it's just not working. The bishop is defending everything. Okay, and then in the game... Yeah, need to take. Takes here. There's also this move, I'm just noticing rook h4. <laughs> it's a cool move, but I don't think it does much because you can just take on b3. It's not helping me, threatening rook takes c2.
So I think everything was correct up until this point. Now I <laughs> would have been good if I noticed this threat. And then I, I could have played rook at df1. And here it seems completely open to me. Completely open. All right. I hope you guys still enjoyed the show. Um, it was fun, even though no happy end, but that's okay. Um, let me read the comments. First time I hear Nicholas cussing. Yeah, I don't cuss that much, but you know, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes it is appropriate. <laughs> I like this comment. I had it running in the background suddenly. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoyed it and see you around soon. If you're not subscribed yet, now is a good point. So you'll be notified for future streams and videos and so on. So hit that, hit that subscribe button, my friends. And then I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye. How did I turn this off? <laughs>